so I have all my stuff. Obviously, we're packed for the tournament. Um, brought it, left the rods and reels down with the valet in the vehicle. But um, tackle itself brought up into the room, and uh, we'll find out what's in here. I may have to repack. All right. So right before we left this morning, or sorry, this afternoon, we go outside, start loading up the car, and this is there. So my lucky tackle box tournament edition arrived literally like as we're leaving to come down here to Hot Springs for the pre-tournament meeting. So I'm doing the unboxing in the hotel. Um, first off you can see it's significantly wider than the normal uh, Lucky Taco boxes. It's just all in all a larger box. So let's get to this. Let's see what's in it. Lucky Tackle Box Tournament Series. This bait card is like a trifold bait card. Pretty sweet. So we'll go through that in a minute. Baitmate sticker instead of an LTB sticker. It's pretty sweet. Fishhound Magazine, as usual. And I see a bunch of stuff that I've either bought or I've been looking at buying recently. So let's get into it right off the bat. So first off, Live Target Sunfish. You guys have probably seen this before. This is just like a, a uh, soft body frog. Very similar except for it is a sunfish instead of a frog. Trocar hooks. I cannot seem to get. I can't grab the stupid thing. There we go. All right, so soft party frog style bait, right? Cast it out. You walk it back. Floats. It's gonna walk, just like a a, a frog would, but soft body. There it is. Couple inches long, again, like the size of a frog. Pretty sweet little bait. I don't have any of these, um, so I'm, I'm pretty uh, pretty stoked about getting one. Um, I've thought about buying them for quite a while. I just ne have never pulled the trigger on it. Bait number two says Livingston Howler's Dream. I've got that bait. Uh, Randy Howell, 2014 Bassmaster Classic Champion. It is a crankbait, kind of a deep diver. Uh, color is Gunnerville's Craw. Uh, it says depth of 10 feet. So this is going to get packed in that box right now. It's a two and a half inch um, crankbait that's going to get. It says bait fish sounds activated the moment the water. Oh, so it's got. So. It's got the technology to make out to, to make out to make bait fish sounds as it's in the water, water activated sounds. So this is gonna get thrown probably in tomorrow's tournament. Um, so there you go. A red craw pattern. Sticky sticky hooks. So, yeah, I like that. All right, so that was bait number two. Bait number three, Z-Man Chatterbait. I'm sure I actually have this colored Chatterbait tied on right now in one of my rods downstairs. 3 8 ounce. White chartreuse. Uh, basic style Z-Man Chatterbait. Um, 
So this one will not make it down there with me tomorrow because, like I said, I already have one. I'm not tied on for the tournament yet. I have one or two rods that are tied on with what I want and then a couple others that are just tied on with stuff. Not necessarily what I'm throwing yet, but you know, I'm going to get on the water probably two, well, at least two hours before go time, so I've got lots of time of, of sitting around and doing last minute touch-ups. Next is the Stutter Step, Bill Lewis Stutter Step. It's a pretty cool topwater bait. Um, I will not even attempt to describe how the how this thing works. Um, I've never thrown one. I've watched it, um, but yeah, that's it. Pro Blue Stutter Step, it's one ounce bait. It's a pretty big topwater bait. I do not have one of these. Obviously, this isn't coming with me tomorrow either. Uh, along with the um, live target, it's because they're topwater baits, and this is February. But pretty stoked. Um, next is the Dobbins D Blade Advantage. There we go. It's a spinnerbait, half ounce spinnerbait. Hand tied silicone skirt, must add needle point hook, nickel or gold plated custom blades, custom head design, ball bearing swivels. Uh, special hook keeper for the trailer and custom head colors. So, pretty cool spinnerbait. Uh, I won't be taking that tomorrow either, but I do look forward to throwing this a little later on in the year. Alright, so that is the top page of the trifold. Uh, the top of page two, the Dual Realis Pencil 110. I have one of these. I think this came in a box a few months ago. I actually got the same exact color. It's smoke. I think the smoky bone, something like that. Um, yeah, smoky bone. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, VNM Flat Wild. There we go. VNM Super Scented. Wild Thing series baits. So let's open this up. Fail. Okay. Yes. Finally got it open at least enough where I can kind of grab it but apparently not enough to open it. There we go. And I drop. All right. Oh my God. That smells horrendous. Um, yeah, it's definitely super scented. That is a fact. I don't know what that smell is, but it is definitely a smell. Green pumpkin kind of a weird crawdad creature bait thing. I think this is actually perfect for this time of year. So winter time, you want to use jig trailers or soft plastics or whatever you want to use that don't have a lot of movement. You don't want crazy flappy arms and stuff like that. Um, stuff like Rage Craws, stuff like that, those are just, I mean, they're great baits, right? But they're not great this time of year. You want the least amount of movement possible versus a lot of flappy movement. So anyway, that's that. This is probably going to get tossed in my soft plastics for tomorrow. Okay, next is the Mr. Twister Pocket Venom Worm. Weird. So it's a little watermelon red. It says assorted for the color, but a little watermelon red worm, a little curly tail. But it has these weird pockets. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see those these pockets? Maybe? Maybe not. If I stretch it, I'm trying to figure out the best way so you guys can see it. 
Anyway, it's got these weird pockets in it. That's the Mr. Twister pocket worm. Alright. Next is the Gary Yamamoto Zacco bait. The Zacco, this one is disco green, is the color. It's a little swim bait. try that tomorrow on an A rig or something. All right. Um, and that closes out page two of the trifold. Last page. Strike King Magnum Rage Bugs. So, you know, I was talking about Rage Craws a little bit ago. This is very similar. color of this is. This this isn't a color. So these things let's get one open. It's big old creature bait. Um, but See that little lip right there that they have? Rage Craws. Or pretty much every Rage Anything has that little lip right there. That, can you see that? That is what causes it to do all sorts of flappy, kicky movement in the water. That's what gives it all its action. Again, it's great action, just not this time of year. So these will not go out with me tomorrow. But I'm pretty stoked to have them. Let's not get it twisted. That is the Strike King Magnum Rage Bug. Next up, one of my favorite companies out there, Big Bite Baits. Let's put this up. Big Bite Baits Real Deal Craw. So, so I actually already have this exact one in my soft plastics for tomorrow. Same, the same color and everything. Um, I guess we'll have to dig it out, but yeah, it's a it's a watermelon. Or sorry, it's a pumpkin, green pumpkin color. Very similar to that rage thing a second ago, except for without the, the flappy kicky legs. So, but still like same like thickness of the body, but these don't really have much of anything to make them flap. So, uh, great this time of year, not a lot of action, not a lot of movement. Now I'm not going to take these ones with me, but only because I already have another bag of them. So these will stay here. Next is X-Zone Lures Muscle Back Fitness Craw. I have never seen this. Again, green pumpkin. Looks like there's only three of them in this pack. There are more than three. There are five. Five in this pack. So, weird. Okay, so this is actually kind of a combo between the two just now. It's got all the legs, right? But it has those That little weird lip thing that I was telling you about with the the Strike Kings, the Rages. I don't know if you can see the way that lip kicks out. But it has that that lip that'll give it all the, the kick and everything, so probably a great lure to throw later on in the year. Okay, so the last two things look like terminal tackle. And uh, they are mustad wide gap hooks 
just little 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 tiny things out there size two size eights size eights it's almost like this being like a trout box or a panfish box um, size that you would use for like drop shotting but these aren't drop shot hooks So these are size 8, 5, Mustad, Ultra Point, Wide Gap Hooks. And the last thing is TTI Blakemore Diachi Hooks, Fat Gap Worm Hooks. And they're basically EWG Worm Hooks, like maybe a one knot. What size is this? Three out. I don't think so. That looks really small for a three out hook, but whatever. It says it's a three out, but it's an EWG. Um, that is it, guys. There's no prices on anything. I think LTB went away from that this year. Um, last thing in here is just a commercial from Flow for boat insurance. So, that's it guys, um, come back through in reverse order, obviously, hooks, more hooks, these little craw doohickeys, uh, the X-Zone Lures Muscle Back Fitness Craw, the Big Bite Baits Real Deal Craw, the Strike King Magnum Rage Bugs, the Zacco swim bait from Yamamoto. Mr. Twister pocket worms. Where'd I go? VNM flat wild. I already tossed you in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put these back behind me. Because those are going to go in that over there. So let's toss those. That direction. Uh, Dual Realis pencil. The Dobbins D Blade Advantage spinner bait. Bill Lewis stutter step. This monster top water. The Z Man chatter bait. The Livingston. Howler's Dream. Oh yeah, that's got to go over there too. Or any Howler's Dream. Gunnerville Craw. And the Live Target Sunfish. Color is uh, Sunfish. Book in there. Batemate sticker. And our LTV trifold. Um... Yeah, that's it, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, since I'm doing this in the hotel, but I don't, you guys aren't going to see this until after the tournament, so probably maybe even the day after the tournament. It really depends on how tired I am when I get home tomorrow. But I need to go to bed because it's 10.30 at night. We have an hour drive in the morning, and I have to be on the dock by 5. So, i got to go to bed. Anyway, um, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. Be safe. Get on the water. Go stick some lips.